Hello. Morning, everyone. Happy New Year. Um, this is my first post for the Digital Chef for uh, 2016, and I thought I'd make a, you know, like everybody else, make a New Year resolution. And my New Year's resolution this year was, again, to carry on getting fit. So, but to do that with within using technology. So what I've done is I've, maybe foolishly, I've signed up for the um, Brighton Marathon in April. Um, I've never run a marathon before. Um, I've trudged my way through a couple of tough mudders. And I've done two half marathons, but I've never ever, the thought of going around twice on a half marathon is quite daunting. So to do that, I'm going to investigate technology and its use case, particularly for enterprise as well. I'm going to start to look at um, lots of different wearable technologies and to see how they affect me from a fun point of view for fitness and motivation, but also to see what I can do with the data and also how I can integrate other systems together with those wearable devices as a bit of fun over the next couple of months and do it as a kind of a rolling podcast. So the devices I'm going to test, I'm going to test, um, this is a Fitbit Surge, uh, it's probably Fitbit's premier model. They, at uh, CES this week they've just announced a new smartwatch kind of um, device which has got a colour screen called the Blaze, but it's still actually less expensive than this, it uh, doesn't have the inbuilt GPS. Um, this has got a heart rate monitor, it's uh, actually a, a, a attached to the back of the phone, uh, at the back of the watch. So we're going to test that and see how accurate uh, the Fitbit is and look at the companion app. Um, I've also then got um, Microsoft Bands. This is the Microsoft Band 1, and this has just been the new Microsoft Band 2. Um, the Band 2 has probably got the most sensors of any device on the marketplace at the moment. It's got about 11 different sensors, including a barometer, a UV sensor. Um, they've both got heart rate sensors, and I'm going to test to see how accurate the heart rate monitor is on the Band 1 versus the Band 2 from a cost point of view, because you can still buy the Band 1s, and lots of enterprises are still looking at using the Band 1s for notifications and in integrating these within enterprise systems for push notifications to see how that works as well. So I'm going to test those side by side on my wrist and see how accurate the data is that comes back from those devices. Um, we're going to obviously look at the companion apps that come on the um, smartphones that come with those uh, quantified self devices. Um, well, alongside that we're also going to look at carry on tracking things like the, the more basic um, sensors, things like the Nike Fuel Band SE and to see kind of some examples of co-creation that people have used these as well. So, uh, for instance, uh, which I'll do in a later podcast, how this is low and low linked to my um, life insurance for my mortgage product. I'm going to show you how that kind of system works as well. Um, those devices are all pretty much trackers. So these kind of track uh, metrics about me. I'm also going to look at some more proactive type devices as well and see kind of um, how they fit and feel as well. So, I'm going to, for, for instance, one of those devices is a, a wearable called Move. It's got multiple sort of gyroscopes and accelerometers inside it. This is more of a proactive device. This device is designed to help you train. So it's designed to help correct the way that you exercise and the way that you train as well. So it gives you notifications, audible notifications on um, how effective your gait is. Is your gait slowing down? Are your heel striking, foot striking? And this is designed to be worn on the ankle as well. So we're going to test the move and see how that works. Um, they're all kind of wrist worn um, wearables. I'm also going to test this rather fetching garment. This is a an OM signal shirt, basically, a smart shirt. And we're going to start to see more and more electronics built into clothing over the next couple of years. Um, this stuff's being announced at CES this week. OM have just released a, a biometric bra for ladies as well. But I've got the OM signal shirt. All the electronics are sewn into the actual band that goes across the chest. And then there's a, a separate transmitter module that clips onto the front that, that beams all of the data from the shirt to the companion app on the phone. Um, this one requires you to baseline it, so there's a number of exercises you have to follow, video tutorials that you follow. So it baselines your physical levels of fitness, so then you can actually use it then to actively train when you're using it as well. So I'm going to test that out as well and see how that works and see kind of how, how accurate that is compared to a chest warm wearable versus the um, wrist warm wearables. Um, I've also got a pair of recon, rather fetching recon jet. Um, head wearables. You know, these provide things like turn-by-turn -turn navigation and face notifications and earpieces and that kind of stuff for sound. So I'm going to test these as well just to see how effective they are for running. I know that you can wear them for cycling but it's going to be interesting to see are they actually effective for a notification point of view when you're actually running as well. And finally I'm going to test all of those devices then with a um, baseball cap. This is a baseball cap from um, a company called Max Virtual and it's powered by something called Synapse. And what they have is it's got bone conduction speakers um, built into the headband so that when you wear the baseball cap, 
and you pair it with your phone, you haven't got any earphones in, which is the bane of most runners having these in, in ear earbuds to hear notifications. Apparently, these are bone conduction speakers, so the sound is transmitted inside your skull. So, I'm going to pair the cap up with the smartphones and then listen to the notifications for things like mile tracking, kilometer tracking, um, cheering on, motivation, that kind of stuff, and also see how accurate I can make it from um, an integration point of view by getting push notifications from other systems, maybe corporate, maybe enterprise systems. So that's the plan. Um, very brief podcast to start off with, but um, I'm going to do these on a rolling basis over the next um, two months, two months, uh, two, three months up until April, um, field testing the stuff as well. So I'll do runs, field test, and we'll have a look at the actual data and compare the data that comes back on the smartphone apps themselves just to see how accurate these are. Okay, so... Hopefully that'll be vaguely interesting. Uh, at least we can field test some of the technology and just to see kind of how accurate it is. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.